Hello. Right now I'm interviewing Najara Townsend to talk a little about a new movie she is starring in, The Stylist. In this film, Najara stars as Claire, a hairstylist who happens to kill some of her patrons to wear their scalps. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, first off, what is the first film you remember seeing in theaters? Whoa. Oh, man. You know, that's actually a really hard question. I don't have a very distinct memory of the first film I saw in theaters, but I, the first, my first memory that I can recall at this moment is my mom took me to see an interview in like a live talk with Jodie Foster at our at one of our local theaters. And after the talk, they screened Silence of the Lambs. And I was fairly young at the time. And I remember being like, this is terrifying. And I don't know if we stayed for the whole movie because I think I was like nine. But that's my first, that's the first movie I can remember seeing on a big screen. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, that yeah. one came out in the early 90s. So you might have yeah, been nine. Yeah, this was a little, a little after that, but yeah. Okay, cool. Do you, uh, so that, is that the first horror film you remember seeing at all? Regardless of location? The first horror movie I remember seeing, which I called a horror movie, but I'm pretty sure it's actually classified as a sci-fi film, is Fire in the Sky. But I considered it a horror movie because alien abduction is like my worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so I was terrified of that movie. But yeah, Fire in the Sky. I think that's, yeah, yeah. Maybe The Shining? Rosemary's Baby, definitely. Well, I was very young as well. My mom loved Rosemary's Baby, so I saw that a lot when I was fairly young. I actually watched that finally the first time last summer. You know, sometimes you got to just catch up on classics eventually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, right now on IMDb, you have 99 acting credits to your name um, over the last two decades, and you had a small role in S Club Cell in, in L.A., um, and about a third of them are short films. So what got you into the short film style of acting first? Um, well, the majority of my experience when I was young were short films. I think mainly because they, it was, they were easier to do a, like to, to, to do a lot of, I don't know, that sounds weird, but being young, like being, you know, in between the ages of eight and 15, a short film is easier to do than a feature, time-wise. Um, and and I, I kind of, my mom and I both kind of looked at it, I think, like this was a way to get, it, this was like an acting, it was like acting class. Like every short was, was such a huge learning experience. And working on shorts, especially like, I did a lot of thesis films for universities when I was young. And you don't only learn about like what your job is as an actor but you kind of get to learn like with the students what their jobs are so growing up I felt like my knowledge of what filmmaking was was like much more vast than what you would get in just an acting class so I always really loved shorts I always felt like they were even more collaborative than a feature nice uh, local university short films and all that for their master projects and all that yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't heard that from anyone yet. That's a pretty cool start. And I guess they just post them like uh, job opportunities or any other sort of acting role. Yeah, they would be on, like in, in LA, um, there's a lot of jobs on casting websites like LA Casting. Um, when I was younger, there was a newspaper called Backstage West, um, and they would put castings in there. And then also when it is like a, a student's thesis project, like their final film, it's not uncommon for them to reach out to agents to get actors so that's kind of how i went about it um now i don't know if it's out yet the manor which you recently directed and co-starred and co-wrote with the other stars of it um yeah. that's your first directing gig is that something you want to do more in the future i'm not sure to be honest i never um I've never wanted to direct. It was never like something I thought I was going to do. And then um, one of my best friends wanted to start like developing and producing things with me. And I was like, I'm into it, but on a very like low scale. Cause 
we haven't taken on a lot of the behind the scenes positions before. And so she asked if I would direct it. And I was like, sure, you, what, can, what harm can it do? Um, so we did, a, so we shot a short over the weekend um, and I directed it and I learned so much directing and I did enjoy it. I wouldn't be opposed to doing it again, but I definitely think I am better on the producing side of things and maybe not the directing side of things. All right, last one on this style of question, on the non-acting questions. You <laughs> also are a singer. You are on five different soundtracks, but not in a while. Specifically, did S Club 7 inspire this? Um, no, actually, it didn't. S Club 7 was just, I think I loved S Club 7 and they needed, they were cast, they were, they were shooting in, they were shooting in my area and I got the part and I was like so excited. Um, but I, my background with music, I grew up doing musical theater and then I like kind of wanted to be an artist when I was a teenager and then acting really took over. Um, and funny enough, I'm back doing music now, especially in lockdown. And I, my band does have a soundtrack credit on the stylist. What is your band? My band's called Archway and we are, we're actually going to start releasing stuff next week. Oh. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, are you in any musicals? Like for movie musicals or short musicals or just musical no. theater is what you've done? Just musical theater. Yeah, I would like kill to, that's actually one thing I would love to do is a musical film. Well, on that note then, uh, do you have a dream role you'd want to do in a musical movie? No. I mean, a dream, no, not necessarily. Um, I wouldn't, I, yeah, I just, any musical would be super duper cool. I've never, I've never put those two worlds together. And I think that would just be, I don't really, I don't think I care. It'd just be fun to do the musical. <laughs> awesome. Um, all right, the stylist. Um, you seem to master a look where you both seemed completely average while unraveling from the inside at the same time. Was that a hard look to achieve? Um, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a compliment. Yeah, I, I take that as a compliment. I um, don't th know if I did that intentionally, actually. Um, with Claire, the character of Claire specifically, she has such a tremendous amount of stuff going on under the surface and really doesn't use words all that much. Um, so I don't, so that was, that's just, I guess what happened to my face while I was thinking all the things that she thinks. <laughs> Were the scalp wigs uncomfortable to wear? N no, because I, I wear them for such a short amount of time. Like every, all the takes that all, we didn't, we didn't, do a lot of takes we would maybe do like three takes max of every angle and putting them on i would put them on during the scene usually they'd come right off so it wasn't the only thing that was uncomfortable was they were usually lined with fake blood which is so sticky and that would just kind of get everywhere <laughs> so that wasn't pleasant but the actual putting on of the wigs was comfortable they're very they're very uncomfortable looking I don't know how well they managed to make them look uncomfortable, but hopefully feel nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if you had to star in another movie like The Stylus, where you were working a normal job, but secretly a killer, what job would you want that new character to have? Ooh. Um, that's an excellent question. Jobs, jobs, let me think. It's like let's a double say, question, yeah. Yeah, what's a job that you don't have to like be overly active with people, but you also are around a lot of people at once? A job, like an observer job. Who, I have like, who, oh, I'm trying to think of jobs. <laughs> I don't know. Such a good question. That's something I'd want to actually think about. I don't, because if I give you... Like I could say like a checked out person at a grocery store, but that's kind of too, that's just not cool. I'd want to, I want to, I want to give this one lots of thought. <laughs> ah, 
my bad. I try to be clever. <laughs> if you come up with something, I will badly edit it in as an answer later. Because my editing oh, okay. skills are really weak. That's okay. Or I won't, one of the two. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a preference in acting in horror movies since you have done quite a few? Um, I love the horror community. I think that's part of it. I love horror fans. Um, I love horror film festivals and conventions. I just, uh, all of it is so much fun. And there is something, a horror movie can have so many like subgenres in it. Like there, there can be bits of comedy and it's usually extreme drama and extreme emotions. And I really like all that. I find film to be very therapeutic. So the more like high intensity it is, the better. Okay. Um, and finally, The Stylus was a short, obviously, and turned into a movie. When you auditioned and got the lead for the shorts, did you knew, did you know that Jill wanted to make it a movie also in the future, a feature-length film? Yeah, we had talked about that, and I definitely knew that um, that would be her dream, like, first feature would be The Stylist. Mm -hmm. um, and when the short was received so well, that was just like amplified she she dove into it and i couldn't i was so excited because i had already found that character fascinating so the thought of being able to take her again and create a bigger world with her was just like just so exciting <laughs> did you learn any real hair cutting valuable skills while shooting this film i had a crash course in hair cutting and styling before we started shooting. Um, I even, my mom let me cut her hair. She was like, yeah, you can cut my hair. I was like, I've never cut hair before, mom, are you sure? <laughs> um, and luckily it actually went well. So I've learned, you know, basic styling tips. I could probably give someone a blowout, but I wouldn't necessarily try to actually cut somebody's hair in the future. It takes a lot of skill. Yeah, a lot of hours to get that uh, certificate. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, Najara, for chatting with me today at Gorgon Reviews. The Stylus has its world premiere on Saturday, September 26th at 8 p.m. Central as part of the celebration of Fantastic Fest, which you can watch from your own home at the same time. Thanks again, Najara, and I hope you achieve every single one of your dreams in the future. Thank you. <laughs>